All right, so right now I have everything that I like. I'm going to take and highlight it all. Make sure I unlock everything and re-highlight it, except for the bottom black, of course. Hold Shift, click and drag out. Now, depending on what you are pasting this to or designing it for, this in case of t-shirt, uh, we'll have a measurement board that we're going to click and drag it on within the classroom and I'll show you how that works. Other than that, the graphic's good, but I want something to represent this on the internet because all your, all your things that you're doing now go on the internet. Again, I'll show you where in the classroom. But for right now, I'm going to show you something. If you save for the web, this is wrong. This is absolutely wrong. This does not support the resolution that I want it to have, nor the anti-alias, which is the curving of the lines and keeping them nice and contoured. JPEGs are raster. Uh, this image is vector. So... Regardless of what, we do have to rasterize it. But what I'm going to do is put it on the desktop here and using the export feature, turn it into a JPEG. This time, using the export feature, it turns it into a nice JPEG. So I'm going to call it this. Your first letter, your first name, last name, color separation, underscore web. Okay, remember that naming convention. And export it out. Now, I want it to be a maximum of 10. Baseline, high depth, and an alias. And hit OK. I also want you to save the Illustrator document at this time. So save as, and I'll give you the naming convention for that. So it's first letter, last name, color separation, which is misspelled, oops, uh, underscore ill, illustrator. Now I do this because that way later on I can actually go in and find all the ills on the network just by typing a search. So save that out. And hit OK. All right, now we have to create two new things, and I'm going to do that in the next video.